Welcome to Colorado's number one real estate show, Summit Mountain Homes and Lifestyle. In this show, you're going to hear from our show sponsors and an array of real estate experts. Whether you're looking to buy a property, sell a property, design a property, or maybe rent it out and maximize your income potential, we're going to talk all about it. You're going to learn a lot and you're going to have a blast doing it. Summit Mountain Homes and Lifestyle starts right now. Hey guys, Kia here, and I am hanging out at the Frisco Adventure Park near the Dickey Day Use Trailhead with Jen Chambers from JLEX Mountain Homes of Keller Williams, yes. Realtor. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing really well, really well. It's a gorgeous day. It here is in the absolutely mountains. a gorgeous yeah. day. Beautiful fall colors that we're I know, enjoying out I know. here. It happens a little earlier here than most places, but we have some bright colors right yeah, now. Yeah, it's definitely, we definitely can have some gorgeous views on some yep. decks of some beautiful homes yep. out there. And uh, we were kind of just talking a little bit of the importance of how to market and photograph your yes. home um, on the market. Yeah, so in Summit County, we obviously have a very long winter. So when you're going to sell your property, you're definitely going to want some photographs highlighting our winter season. And, that's, and the winter season is probably one of the main attractions for yes. bringing people here as Absolutely, well. absolutely. And within that winter season, you can also use staging to help sell your home. So throughout the year, we have obviously different holidays. You might want to stage mm -hmm. it for fall with pumpkins mm -hmm. or around Christmas with some really wonderful warm holiday decorations mm -hmm. um, people love to see that and it is what they associate with the mountains yeah yeah i imagine it's also kind of giving that sense to them of what the home is going to feel like yes once they're, once in, they're it. in it exactly and you know we also have a beautiful summer so if you're planning on selling your home it's a great idea to get pictures in various seasons to highlight all that you can do here in Summit County. So it sounds like if you're just even kind of maybe just starting to think about selling yeah. your home, immediately contact a realtor to just start on that marketing. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, so getting in touch with your realtor when you're making the decision to sell is a great idea because they can get their photographer to come out and take pictures in various times of the year and show that property throughout the year. And really those pictures are so, so important because, I mean, I've heard there's a number of buyers that actually don't see no. <laughs> the home in person before they buy. Yes, you're right. So we have a lot of buyers who are coming in from out of state. And so they buy often based on pictures and videos that are supplied by your realtor in the listing. Yeah, so not only is it important to again, give that sense of all four seasons, yep. what is the home gonna look like, yep. feel like. Also, you had mentioned earlier, um, when the snow is melted away, you can see more of the property in the middle. Yeah, right? yeah, it's really important to show what the land looks like, what the property looks like. Mm -hmm. um, even the amenities here in Summit County sh highlighting, you know, hiking and biking as well as the skiing and snowboarding that everyone yeah. knows about. Now, Jen, where can people get a hold of you if they have any questions uh, yeah. of, as, as far as marketing for property that they're going to sell Absolutely. or just want to find out about some of your listings? Yeah, well, you can always give me a call. My phone number is 303-880-4322. And my website is www.jluxmountainhome.com. Thank you so much. And folks, if you really want to get the most money for your property, you know that you're going to be selling it, definitely contact her so she can get those photos right away. Thank you. Check this out, this is beautiful, Derek. And if somebody's looking at this saying, hey, I wanna buy that lot, you can. You sure can. <laughs> 1650 Falcon Circle, it's phone an amazing call away, lot. right? One phone call away, <laughs> call right about homes. <laughs> it's a half an acre, it's a very buildable site, and if yeah. you wanna wake up to this beautiful setting in trees, 360 oh. degrees around your home, this is a phenomenal this lot. This is it, it looks yeah. good, it feels good, it sounds good with the leaves yeah. blowing around, yeah. right? This is really great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're such a big believer in the importance of planning so that if you do wanna buy, a lot like this. Um, don't just race into it and try to build a house real fast. Have what, an architect maybe get involved early? Absolutely. As soon as you find your realtor, get an architect on yeah. board. Let's all work together. Maybe even yeah. a builder on board yeah. so you can start talking about the type of home you want and yep. the characteristics of a lot that are going to fit your dream home. 
Right, the two really do have to work hand in hand. They're not singular, really, they work together. It makes the process so much more enjoyable for a homeowner than just buying yep. a lot and having to squeeze a house on it. Well, I told you about that friend of mine in Denver who bought that house and yeah. it, the, the orientation just wound up literally being wrong and they, they just hadn't thought it through. That's right. They just hadn't thought it yep. through. They hadn't done it before and they just didn't think it through. Yeah, it happens too often. Didn't plan. Doesn't have to. Um, what happens if somebody's looking to buy an existing property? We've got some inventory levels are actually pretty good. I mean, there's availability, right? Yeah, pretty strong right now in market seems to be leveling off so that's okay, great that's for buyers good. and rates are still good obviously rates are terrific right now and what's your thinking on say a brand new million dollar house versus maybe a house that's seven hundred thousand dollars it's a little older but can be fixed up right if you're up for a little bit of a project you can <laughs> save a bundle of money yeah. by coming in and Come in. take a kitchen for example right. it's dated there's tons of houses that haven't been updated since they were built right in the 70s 80s and even 90s right. up here a little dated right you can come in with a budget approach right if the cabinets look good in the kitchen have a painter paint the cabinets, put new hardware on them. Yeah. Go pick out your own granite that fits your taste. That fits your taste, not a builder's taste. Right, that's okay. right, or the previous owner's taste even. Yeah. And you've got a pretty much a new kitchen. Hey, and I know that you were working on a project where it, 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 it was, you were just spending some time on it. It was, you're fixing things up and it's just gonna take a while and you were fine with that approach. Nothing wrong with that at all, right? Nothing at all, we pick one project to do every year. I think that's great. We got the right. four-year fix and flip plan. It, it spreads yeah. it out, it spreads the expense out, and then there's other people who want to do it fast in a month or two. You that's can right. do it that way as well. Absolutely. Okay, tell me about this team approach that you guys have so that if people are interested in buying, selling, you really can bring the team together and make sure all the pieces come together properly. Yeah, you know, I've got some great local architects I can bring into the picture. You can interview them, find yep. one that fits your personality, guy yep. you like to work with, yep. get them involved, especially in site selection. Okay, that sounds great. Yep. I love that thing about personality, you gotta find somebody you like working with, right? That's right, it's gonna be a long process. Make it a good fit. Derek, thanks so, so much, awesome lot. Thank Somebody's gonna snatch this thing up. It's a great they one. They did your other one right over here. That's right, that one went fast <laughs> too, yep. I'm Amy Smits with Resort Real Estate Experts. We're in Frisco. We also have an office over in Vail, and we've got 10 full-time agents that are working with buyers and sellers. We have an office over in Eagle Vail, and we have an office in Frisco, right on Main Street. We are a team of 10 agents. Everyone on our team is full-time, and we work with both sellers and buyers, and most of them aren't from here. We're working with a lot of people from out of state, we're videoing them into properties, and when we're listing properties, we're making sure they're staged, on professional photographs, and they really show the best they can the first day we bring them on the market. Well, inventory right now is the best it's been. And so going into the third quarter, um, we're going to be very strong for the first couple of months. And then as we get closer to ski season, people take their properties off the market, put them into the rental market. So they make that money over the winter and then they bring them back on in the spring as prices continue to increase. The inventory that's probably moving the fastest right now is homes under a million. Average days on market is just over a week. Though right now that's starting to increase a bit. We're seeing some price reductions. I think we saw 80 price reductions today, but we also saw 80 new properties come on the market. So I think there's really something out there for everyone. The new construction on our website, we've got a special link just for that. So anything built after 2018, just go to our website, check on new construction, and you'll see everything that's on the market and it'll also tell you approximately when it'll be done. So in Dillon, we've got a lot of new things going on around the lake. In Silverthorne, boy, that area is just exploding, but a lot of new construction on the river and in town. And then in Breckenridge, we've got even an $18 million home that's being built right on the slope. So true ski in, ski out, like we've not quite seen before. We think it's important to work with a local realtor who knows the area, who's full-time, who's available when you are. To know the area is to know that this is a great lake to come and rent a boat and check out the leaves as they change over the next couple of months. Or if you love stand-up paddle boarding, where are those classes and who are the people that you want to do that with? But our agents are all full-time. We have people who are born and raised here and We'd love to tell you all about the county. To see everything on the market uh, here in Summit County, go to our website. It's super easy to navigate 
Um, it is at yourskihome.com. So easy to remember. Jump on there, you can see all new construction. If you only want a place at Keystone, very easy to find those properties. Or if you're looking for an investment property, go to yourskihome.com or give our office a call and one of our agents would be happy to tell you about properties throughout the entire county. Hey guys, Kia here and I am hanging out on this beautiful deck enjoying great views of Buffalo Mountain with local realtor and broker Sue Reynolds from Coldwell Bankers Mountain Properties. And also, I just found out today, <laughs> the top three realtors in Summit Colony according to Best of Summit Daily. Sue, how are you today? I'm doing great. I'm doing great, Kia. I'm really enjoying hanging out on this deck, this great backdrop, fall in Summit County. And beautiful views into this yeah. pond. Now, what neighborhood are we in? We are in Angler Ranch, which is in Silverthorn. So we're kind of on the north side of Silverthorn, just off of Highway 9. You wouldn't think we're that close, but we are. Yeah, and beautiful communities. Really kind yes. of feel like you're a little bit out there, but you still are very close to town. Yeah, it's a, it's a great neighborhood, and that's exactly right. You're kind of in the mix of it, but you don't feel like you are. Now, tell me a little bit more about the property that we're on right now, because you said this just went on the market like two days ago? It did. It just went on the market two days ago. It's a three bedroom, three bath. It's listed at 1.195. It's just over 2,200 square feet. And as you can see, it's kind of an amazing place to be. <laughs> I, yeah, I have to say with those two decks, we're currently on the upper deck and there's of course the downstairs deck that has mm -hmm. the jacuzzi. And of course we've got the dock just right here on the water, easy access into the water. Yes. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful place for someone to kind of hang out here long term, be a part of the community. Yes. Yes, and it's actually, it's an interesting property too, and a reason why you would like to have a realtor who has experience and knowledge in short-term rentals in Summit County. This property, you can rent it long-term, which means more than 30 days, but if you were to purchase it in the hopes of doing vacation rentals or short-term rentals, oh, okay. The HOA has decided in 2020 that you can only do that four times a year. Okay, so so. Uh, if you don't have a broker who understands the HOA rules or where for you to look to see if short-term vacation rentals are allowed, you could buy this property and then not realize that in less than six months, you're not going to be able to rent it in a vacation rental pool. Or basically work your investment like you were hoping to. Yes, yes. But the same, same side or the opposite side that that could be for a person that does not want to have vacation rentals they want to maybe have a closer knit sense of community of of their second home that's exactly right if this is where you want to be have a sense of community when you come to visit then you're not going to have vacation rentals here it'll be people who actually own and live here and so, Sue, where can people find you to find out more about this property or other properties available? Sure. Uh, Sue Runnels, I'm with Coldwell Banker Mountain Properties, and my phone number is 970-409-6200. All right. Well, thank you, Sue. And folks, thank give you, her a Kia. call. Again, remember, num uh, top three realtors in Summit County. Check her out. <laughs> Thanks. At the brand new Compass Real Estate offices here in Cherry Creek. Thanks for having us in, Jason. No problem. Yeah, Thanks really hot off this. the press. This is brand new, right? <laughs> yes, we opened just this month. Uh, no, man, incredible. I love it. Yeah, amazing. Uh, we're going to get some shots of the office here as we go through this. And look at the scenery behind us. It's a nice view, isn't it? That's a great view. Great location. I like it. Great location. You scored, Jason. <laughs> hey, tell me what your thoughts are on the market. We keep hearing a lot about the numbers and the stats and this and that. Things are up, things are down. We, we know some of that. Tell me about that, but then more importantly, tell me about what you're seeing on the streets sure so the the numbers you know typically tell us that it, it's still a hot market right, right, um, right. things are the, the days on market are low things are going for above list all of that me personally as far as like out there with buyers and right. sellers what I mean, you're seeing and hearing exactly yep. um, I, I see buyers acting with a lot less urgency okay. right they're meaning meaning not they're not pulling the trigger as quick as possible okay, exactly. because a year ago I know we've talked about it some of these buyers with sight unseen they're just down writing cash. offers exactly Okay. And that 
just doesn't feel like it's still out there. Maybe not to the extent that it was. Okay, a little more okay. normal, maybe. Yeah, not probably a, bad a little thing. bit more balanced out. Right. Yeah. Okay. So yes, not a bad thing. And still interesting. You, I know earlier you talked that it's a good time still to both buy and sell. So that's still pretty unique. Well, rates being so low, right. and with potentially fewer buyers in the marketplace, I mean, the buyers could tip, you know could get a, right. a decent deal. Right. So. And then I'm really excited to ask you about this new concierge program we have. I think we've heard the term before and some people try to do some staging a little bit, you know, uh, halfway. This yeah. program is brand new, covers all the bases. Tell me about it. So completely groundbreaking, kind of changing the way homes are being sold. Okay. Um, it is an exclusive program specific to Compass uh, okay. and Compass agents. We, however, at the Dolby Group feel we are the most experienced and equipped to actually execute that and you, program. you have a whole team, not yeah. just one stager, but somebody who does finishes so and paint. And exactly. We've got staff, somebody who it can actually manage the process, pick out finishes, communicate the whole process with you. And so what that program does is they yeah. cover the upfront cost to prepare your home for market. So we back up on that again. So if I can't afford that, which is often the case, right. I'm moving out and maybe I'm moving out of the city, can't afford it's it. It's expensive. You exactly. Guys will cover the cost? So we will cover paint. I mean, landscaping, new floors. We just did a new roof on a, on a client's house. Excellent. So no fees, no interest just to be paid back at the time of closing. Okay. Fair enough. And again, the whole team to do it. That is really great. Jason. It's incredible. That's incredible. Right. So if people are looking to buy a place here in Denver, a condo or a house, or if they live in the mountain communities and are looking for a second home here in Denver. We would love to help, of course. <laughs> Not <laughs> a problem. Great. Come check out Jason and his team, his staff, and the whole crew here at this beautiful uh, new office in Cherry Creek. Thank you. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, yeah. Jason. Yeah, Doyle, you all say you have magic powers. I do have the magic, magic carpet. Oh, the magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. I, do. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're here at the, the Frisco, they call it the Frisco Adventure, Adventure Park. Center. Yeah, yeah. And we're standing here at the top of what is going to be in the future, the tubing. But uh, I was just here with my little boy, and Adam was actually here too on the skateboard park. Shredding down in the park, the park, brand new yep, park right yep. behind us. He had his cousin. There's a big uh, bike park back there too, and you can Man. see the fields behind us. And then... Fritz Marina. So, I mean, exactly. you got great exactly. biking still going on here in the fall. Do. Yep. Hiking. Great golf. I just went golf. Great hiking. Yep. Um, and then winter. Um, the winter Wonderland's going to be here. And the Magic Carpet's going to be all right. So, here. by the time you guys watch this, this thing, it might be snowing and this it, thing might be might, running when you're watching right. this. Exactly. Uh, man, real estate really blowing up in Summit County, continues to be on fire. You've got some really cool new developments you've been working on. Tell me about them. Yeah. Uh, I feel fortunate that uh, I've been here for 27 years and have been involved in about 30, 40 new developments. That's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, I did a lot in Keystone, and I'll yep. talk about some of the Keystone developments. Keystone's where you live. Keystone's where I yep, live. with your family. Um, so start with Keystone. So Keystone, you got uh, uh, you got the one ski hill, uh, not one ski hill place, but one river run's going to be coming yep. here shortly. Right, right by the gondola. The gondola. Yep. Uh, there's a new, another new project that's right there by Decatur Field. Yep. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new project at Sanctuary with some duplexes. So let us, you know, there's the seasons. So let, uh, yeah, you know, let us share those. On. You know, let, let let me and Deborah share details For about sure. that. And a lot of those you just simply wouldn't know about. Even if you drive through Keystone, you don't yeah, see, you you don't don't see the sanctuary. You don't see the seasons. Right. And some of it's dirt, so you just don't know. And then, right. again, I've walked people through the new developments. Talking about Dylan. I mean, we got yeah. some great new projects at Dylan. What's going on, The Dylan. sale offs, Uptown yep. 240. Your new development, our the, new the development, Summit Residences. The Summit Residences. Beautiful the, views. Kind of looking over this yeah, way to the, right, looking to over the there. right a little bit. And, uh, and then, you know, in, in Silverthorne, on the river. You yep. know, Rivers West. Yep. Um, so this is another great project. Yeah, There's 4th Street Crossing. They're going to create the pedestrian area. Um, so, again, there's a lot of new projects coming on. Whether you're looking for a new development. Right. And maybe somebody does want something new, right? Maybe, maybe want resell. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I yeah. help people, like I said, for 27 years. You know, whether you're looking for a property starting in the two to three hundreds in one bedrooms, that, that exists. Whether you're looking for that spectacular single family home that's a million dollar plus. Right. Whether you're thinking of rentals or non rentals, there's properties that rent over $200,000 a year. What? In Summit County. How much yes. is that again? $200,000 in a year. <laughs> I like the sound of those numbers. Exactly. That works. Okay, website, tell me about that real quick before we let you go. Great website with awesome search functions. Yeah, I try to make it real simple, doylerichmond.com. Right. Uh, look that up. You can look up any property in Summit County. And again, let Deborah and I educate you uh, from a seller standpoint. Live Sotheby's International Realty. Live got recognized as number one uh, Sotheby's affiliate in the world. Yep, uh, that's Deborah a big and I time, were fortunate to be up there at the top. So. Give us a call. Let us market your property. Let's share the uh, information with us as you buyer. Okay. Do it so, right. Give us a call. <laughs> Sounds good. Bye.
Hi guys, welcome here to Breckenridge. We're hanging out right above the golf course here on location. I'm being joined by Wendy Yates. How are you today? I'm doing great, how are you? Doing excellent, the sun's shining. We got plenty of great weather out here and we are standing in one of the homes that is on the parade of homes actually and getting a lot of people to come in here and see and you had a giant hand in getting this house built. Uh, Absolutely. You designed it, you've been a part of your company here, Abigail Elise, correct? So yes. tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, so we worked with the homeowner slash builder uh, Jason McNeil on this project we worked with him on everything from flooring to trim stain to countertops to lighting uh, tile tile layout tile design uh, mirrors uh, pretty much anything that you can see uh, we helped him uh, sort of do the specifications provided some of the finishes and it's a really great project one of my favorites this year to work on a really great couple so awesome is that something that you do from start to finish? Like you do the entire thing? Uh, do you collaborate with the owner? Yeah, How does that work? Uh, well, a lot of different ways. Um, sometimes uh, before the buyer comes in, uh, we do a lot of development work, um, make those decisions before uh, there's a homeowner involved. But in this case, the homeowner was very involved um, and we collaborated together on, on pretty much everything. Absolutely. That's great. It's good to get good input rather than just walking into like a cookie cutter and mm -hmm. actually have some input on those kind of things. Now, I was interested a little bit and you spoke a little bit about your company. You guys don't just do interior design work. You, you do some uh, unique things. Tell me about that. Oh, uh, yeah. So we recently launched this year WellFit Human, which is wellness, humanitarian and fitness retreats. And the goal with that for us is really our internal company culture is really about uh, the whole lifestyle, not just inside the home. Mm -hmm. So uh, we uh, put together custom designed ret retreats, uh, not just for our clients, but for anyone who wants to join. We take them, our first trip is to the Dominican Republic. We'll work with some children's groups, plant some trees, do some education work there, and um, also bring some health coaches, uh, full meals, fitness, and wellness uh, all involved in the retreat. That's super exciting. It's great that you can participate in like the wellness of everyday life rather than just being a vendor or just being here for the interior design portion of everything. Uh, also, I'd like to point out that you guys aren't just local here. I'd mm -hmm. like to really emphasize that, that you are nationwide. You're, you're helping all over the place. So uh, if you're out on vacation here and you're going back, you can be able to help them out there as well. That's right. We are based in Frisco, but we travel wherever our clients take us. So look forward to helping you wherever you are. Sweet. Uh, is, what's the easiest way for people to get in touch with you? Is that a website? Is it a phone number? How yep, we have it? a website. It's aeinteriorsinc.com. Uh, we're also on Instagram, of course. It's aehustlers or Abigail Elise Design Studio. Um, and you can also give us a call. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a beautiful home. Glad that you had the hand in that. So thanks for joining us. Thanks for the information. And give Wendy a call. She can help you out. Yeah, thank you so much for your guys' time. Cheers. Working with the best in the business here, David Scott, Summit Mount Reynolds. Well, thank you, sir. Good always, to see always you, great sir. To see always you, a Scott. pleasure. This is a treat being here at this property. Circling back in just a second, give us a quick refresher on Summit Mount Reynolds, yeah. the best in the business. Summit Mountain Reynolds. We are Summit County's vacation rental experts. Uh, fantastic properties like this, due to, of course, fantastic property owners. Right. Uh, great portfolio in Breckenridge and Frisco. Yep. Uh, All kinds we, of awards. Oh, we have won Best back of to Summit. Back, back to Best back. of Summit, nine years running, sir. Very impressive. Thank now, you. this home, one of the many properties you have in your portfolio. Take a look at this place. This now, is this crazy. This is Dreamscape Breckenridge. Okay. Uh, three bedroom plus a den, four bathrooms, sleeps okay. up to 10. And this style of home, this kind of mountain, mountain modern. modern, is really Pretty becoming hot. popular I mean, with, with uh, owners and guests. So let's go inside. Let's we'll go inside look. and take a look. I'm excited to check it out. Well, David, you were right. This is mighty impressive inside <laughs> here. Wow. Yeah, like I was saying, more and more guests are looking for this kind of mountain modern, mountain urban. Right. Um, right. You know, they want to be up in the mountains. They want to be out riding bikes or skiing, whatever they do. But yeah. at the end of the day, they want this kind of style and sophistication. Yeah, I mean, this Just is like luxury. that shirt. Style David, and sophistication, ladies and gentlemen. Is, yeah, I'm getting a lot of compliments Where do you on find this, that? I, you didn't find that in the tell men's you department. My, my I mean. secret. <laughs> <laughs> tell but me anyway. what happens in these fall months with your reservations department and your maintenance department. How does that shape up? So the reservations team, things 
slow down a little bit, they okay. get a much deserved break. Right. After yeah, a little breather for sure. Our maintenance teams are working overtime. I saw right them here now. this morning when we showed yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, they're doing deep cleans. Look at how spotless this place is. Yep. Uh, any little maintenance things, you know, light bulbs that you yep. know might need. But yep. we are trying to tighten up ship for winter time. Yep, winter's coming. It's coming. Winter's coming. It, and uh, really, a lot to manage in those properties, though. And you guys are just the best in the business. Well, thank you, sir. In and the full uh, team. God, let's take a look outside. Here. Yeah, I'm excited so cool. to go check it out. Let's go. Gotta be honest, David, I want to move in. Is this living or I'm what? Sold. So imagine long day on the slopes yep. or this time of year on a mountain bike, come yep. home, pop on the jets, pop yep. a bottle of Pinot. Sounds like a plan. Where else would you want to be? And we're so um, off on our own here. It's beautiful. It's a great it's quiet, location. But town's right there. Town is just a short drive away. The gondola, anything you'd want to do in Summit County, but the peace and quiet. It's it's a little different experience than the condo down on yeah, Main exactly. Street. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is really really neat. Hey, uh, speaking of real estate and realtors, you do work with realtors a lot. We have a bunch on this show. Yeah, we work with realtors every day. We provide rental projections for for their buyers. They're looking at buying a place like this, yep. how much it, it can earn, yep. you know, the types of locations that, that rent best. We really are experts and really love working with realtors and buyers. So you can get a hold of us, the number right on the screen. We're at summitrentals.com. If you want to rent this place or any of the beautiful homes, I was going to ask you that. Ask you, that. Uh, you can. Just give us a call. We'd love to help you. Okay. Sign me up. That wraps up Summit Mountain Homes and Lifestyle. We hope you enjoyed the show and that you learned a lot and had a great time doing it. And remember, if you have questions for our real estate pros, give them a call. They'd love to hear from you. They're here to help, even if it's just answering questions. Summit Mountain Homes and Lifestyle and more great programming on TV8 Summit continues right now.